Well, in a small rural settlement in New Zealand, someone knows what happened to two Danish backpackers who disappeared on a local walking track. This is sounding familiar. Uh, that's the premise of Auckland Theatre Company's latest show, When Sun and Moon Collide. And to tell us more, please welcome to the cafe, Kurt Forrester and Jack Buchanan. Thank you. Hi. 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 Welcome, Hi. welcome. Hi. Thank nice you. Really nice to have you back here. Um, so, murder mystery, Kurt, this is what's going on? Yep. Ooh. I'm. I play yep. the police officer in the show too, so I've got a, quite a lot of work on my hands to figure out who done it. Um, but the, the start of the show, it's obvious that something's gone down, and the whole play sort of unravels from the from the anon. It so. just sounds like a TV show. Yeah. Well, people have compared it to The Killing, Broadchurch, yes. but it's also quite funny too. <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah. Was it Isaac that killed the person? Whoa, spoilers. Whoa. <laughs> um, who knows? Who right. knows, really? <laughs> okay, and who do you, who do you play? Well, Jack? I play Isaac. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, welcome to the cafe. <laughs> Thank you. Kurt has um, been on here a few times. This is your first time, so we'll be gentle. Um, uh, what, you know, I guess the great thing with this play is there are some fantastic characters in, in small town rural New Zealand. Yeah, it's Wonderful, and there's, so there's in the play there's um, four of us, only four of us who you actually see on stage, but um, they sort of create the world of the rest of the town um, quite beautifully through the writing. So like you hear about all these other characters who become just as real um, through just hearing about them. So what what do you think really sets the scene for it, Cora? Well, the writing again is is really fantastic. Also, we've got an amazing set designer, mm. Dan Williams, who we're, we're performing at the ASB Waterfront Theatre, the new one. Oh, I like it there. And yeah. it's a big 650 seater, but he's bringing in like um, amazing sykes. So we're sort of building the world of the Hora Whenua, the rural district, with sky, a huge big sky in the theatre and really making it quite an intimate piece. Yeah, so he's brought the whole sort of set kind of forward and a bit out into the auditorium. Nice. Um, and so the set is um, like uh, rural tea rooms um, where most of the action takes place. So is it a thriller? Is it a comedy? Is it like Cluedo, the board game? How would you describe it, Jack? I would describe it as like a dark, rural, gritty drama thriller. Right. Does that help? Yeah, no, I'm, I'm yeah. there, I'd love that. With comedy. Broad, broad yeah. church, but funny. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I can crack a few jokes. OK, and who do I you try. channel? Who do you channel to be a policewoman? Is there anyone that you channel? Well, I did a bit of research around rural police officers and the pressure that they're under because they're the only cop in town. They deal with everything, they know everyone. So I sort of thought about what happens to people when they're under that sort of pressure and sort of went from there. But. Mm. Ooh, and nice. um, pretty impressive line too, Rawari Aparatini is the director. Yes. He's doing Shakespearing, so how's it feeling being directed by him? Pretty great. He's so awesome. Yeah. He's really lovely to work with. He's Shakespearing, that was the official term for us. Yeah, yeah. that's a, that's <laughs> you know a widely used about. verb, yeah. Yes. Yeah. He's a national treasure, mm. he'll yes. love me saying that. <laughs> <laughs> and um, it's amazing, his 45 years experience mm. in the theatre, a lot of, you know, like it's amazing to be around him and just hear these pearls of wisdom come out of him about just really basic things on stage, but yeah. you're like, oh, yeah, he really knows his stuff. Yeah. yeah. It's, so, it's so weird talking to you, Kuda, because Kuda and I used to kick around in a flat in Remawera years ago. We sure did, mate. <laughs> yeah, didn't we? And yeah. Here we are on the telly talking about what's going on. But, Jack, um, find out a bit more about you. You're quite musical, I read. Yeah. Yeah, you can play quite a few instruments. Uh, you just came off Peer Gint Recycled yeah, as I well. Um, but I heard you do some good accents. Oh no, who did you hear that from? I read it in your bio. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> give you, him give me an out. Irish one. Go on. Oh, this, oh, I'm really on this point. So I'll give you a little Irish accent while I'm here, shall I? Oh. A little bit like oh, that. Oh, yeah, I love it. Okay. And an American one, an American one. Um, like, what sort, of, what sort of American are you after? Like, oh, it's not very Donald good today. Donald Trump, we want Donald Trump. Oh, Donald Trump. No, we're going to Oh, <laughs> time. <laughs> you saved. Just um, saved by the bell. That was really good, and also 100% better than Mike ever tries. He just does one accent for everything, and it sounds the same. Yeah, I do. Yeah. What's that one? A <laughs> you know, middle, I don't know what it is. Yeah. Anyway, right. Thank you so much, guys, for joining no us. I'm really, really looking forward to the show. Jack and Kuda. Now, for your chance to see When Sun and Moon Collide, head to atc.co.nz. Yeah, brilliant. Brilliant company, brilliant theatre, sounds like a brilliant show. Go and see these guys and their cast members.